righty, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Another winter, December day out on the California Delta. The last time we ventured out here, the goal or the purpose was to improve our game. You know, fish a tough body of water, which is the California Delta, at a tough time of year. See if we can get on some fish. You know, we had some success. We uh, actually found a little bit of a pattern. Flat sided crankbait, even caught a bonus striper and a bonus steelhead. It was a tough day, as expected. And you know what we do with tough days. Per tradition, if you've been following along on the channel, usually what we do if it's a tough day of fishing is we treat ourselves to a little in and out burger to uh, I guess ease the pain of a tough day of fishing. We've had our fair share of in and out burger days this uh, this year but it's always subjective. It's kind of my uh, my gut feeling on whether it was a tough day or not but today we are going to make it measurable. Of course we are going for the black bass today. We are going to weigh our best five today. We'll say the threshold for in and out burger we have to beat eight pounds. Eight pounds for our best five black bass and anything underneath qualifies for in and out burger. I know I'm not setting the bar very high, but again, I am really not that experienced out on the Delta this time of year. So eight pounds, averaging a little bit over a pound and a half per keeper is, uh, it would be a really, really solid day for me. <sighs> That's our day today. That's our plan. Stay tuned and we'll see how this day shapes out. Get her started with a little A rig action. Well, this is the bait that worked last time we we're out here on the Delta. We'll flat side of crankbait. Let's see if it works today. That's kind of what we emphasized last time. It's really true anywhere this time of year or anywhere in general, but there's something. There's some bait pattern, location, presentation. There's something you can do to get bit. You just have to unlock that puzzle. Last time we went through an area with like three or four different baits, came back through it, through this started getting bit. Jeez. Should have brought the frog rod. A lot of gunk back here. Did bring the punch though. I either got hit or hit a branch. What the heck? Could have been a branch. When you got a one and three quarter ounce weight and it hits a branch, it feels like a bite sometimes. Oh. Sheesh. It's 
coming through nice and clean. say something. I can count the number of fish I've caught on a fluke on one hand in my life. And a big part of that is because I hardly ever fish it, but the conditions today just, I don't know, I'm getting this weird feeling that this is gonna be a player. There's a lot of this floating algae, so it's kind of tough to throw some treble hook baits in there and some moving baits. This fluke is just getting through there so easy. It's pretty shallow too. It's coming through. It's just presenting really nice in the water right now. You can kind of kill it. Let a dead stick. I throw a jerk bait, but I just get hung up every other cast. I don't know. This is weird. I just have a suspicion this is going to get bit. Got one. Yes. Oh my lord. Mixing and matching. On the flutter. 11.25. We actually get to weigh one, folks. Oh, the old spinner bait. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's a miracle. It is a miracle. <sighs> Not a big one, but it's a fish. One eighty nine. All righty. No skunk, at least. Spinner bait on the fall. What do you think that means? Is that a pattern or is that a fluke fish? We'll find out. I'm gonna be probably throwing this for the next half hour at least.
Alrighty, quick little update. It is 12.30 and we have one fish for I think 1.8 pounds, something like that. So uh, not on pace. <laughs> like I said, I knew I knew we'd have to we'd have to work for it today and uh, definitely get a little bit lucky. Oh man, it's uh it's just tough. A few more areas I want to check. We'll continue to cycle through baits. I think I gotta keep throwing a spinner bait or at least a blade bait. See a lot of bait fish on the graph, so you gotta imagine it's a pretty good match the hatch deal. But man, as of right now. Now, it looks like we will be uh, visiting in and out Burger. But the day is not over. We still got a few more hours to uh, try to make something happen. We'll see. Wow, I saw that one come get it. I saw that one come get it. I got a net him. This is so sad, but I got a net him. I got a net him. Well, jerkbait fish have not put a ton of time in the jerkbait today, so maybe that was my mistake. A little keeper right right it's a borderline fish and our rule for the borderline fish and i actually took my board out this morning put it in the garage but our rule for our borderline fish is if we catch two we only can weigh one so Point 0.85 Yeah, I don't know. That's that's definitely borderline. Can't even make that one look big. Ah, 230. Bite number two on a jerk bait. Well, let's fish a jerk bait now for three hours. I hope it's not like the spinner bait where we got confidence in it after that bite and didn't get a single spinner bait bite after that first fish. Give yourself a good out if you have a tough day out on the water. Yeah, today was the goal, like I said, was to uh, get the eight pound threshold. Dude, we got two bites all day. We were out there probably a solid eight and a half, nine hours, um, covered a lot of water, drained both my batteries, tried every single rod and then some more baits. Of the thousands of casts, I, I will say I made like 1,500 casts today, probably more, felt like my arm's about to fall off. I think I just got lucky and two of those casts happened to land on a fish. We got bit on the spinner bait. That was on the fall. I thought it was a positive sign. Threw that for about an hour, hour and a half. Not another bite. Kept going, going, going. I think like three hours later after that bite we got bit on the jerk bait and that was literally after throwing it in there one twitch and one ate it again I think I just put it on their head <laughs> that was the only reason we got two bites today it very well could have been a skunk day man that, that's the crazy thing that's the interesting thing about fishing I don't know what to say I don't know if these fish were lock jawed if they were like buried in the grass I'm sure there was something I could have done today that uh, would have worked but um, obviously I didn't figure it out that is bass fishing especially on the California Delta in the winter time. Uh, definitely commend all you guys out there that not only fish the Delta, but uh, you know your lakes, rivers this time of year. I'm sure it slows down quite a bit everywhere. Just trying to improve, you know, to improve at fishing if you whack them every single time. Of course, you'd like to, but you definitely have to take your lumps as well. The good news is we got some in and out burger to, uh, to ease the pain. Yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. As always, thank you guys for watching, for tuning in to this extremely tough day of fishing, and I will see you guys in the next one.